It was late in the evening and I decided to go to the local gym to work out. The gym was empty, with only one employee sitting at the receptionist's desk. He wished me a good workout and warned me that some people were talking about strange things happening at the gym after hours. I figured it was just a rumor and started my workout. However, with each passing minute, I could sense that something was not right in the gym. The air became tense, silence permeated every cell in the room. I tried to ignore it and concentrate on the exercises, but the feeling of an unpleasant presence only grew stronger. Suddenly I heard strange sounds coming from far away. It was a rustling and a soft singing that sounded like a whisper. My heart beat harder, and I looked around. In a dark corner of the hall, I recognized a slow-moving shadow. I moved closer and realized it was a female figure. She was dressed in workout clothes, but her face was pale and lifeless. The ghost raised her eyes and looked at me. Her gaze was full of sadness and longing. She began to move closer to me and I saw traces of tears on her face. I tried to talk to her, but she just shook her head and disappeared as if she never existed. I remained in shock, but soon I heard new sounds from different corners of the hall. More and more ghosts appeared before my eyes. They were of different ages and genders, but they all expressed sadness and pain. I realized that these ghosts were the souls of the people who had died in this hall. They were unable to go to the next world and remained here, attached to their unfinished business and unresolved emotions. I decided to help them and tried to make contact with each ghost. I listened to their stories, their thirst for revenge and their longing. We performed rituals and ceremonies to help them release their attachments and move on to the next world. Gradually the ghosts disappeared one by one. The hall became brighter, the atmosphere calmer. Soon I found myself in an empty gymnasium with no more ghosts. This scary ghost story in the gym taught me to appreciate life and helped me to realize that even after death, these ghosts continue to affect me. They left a mark on my soul, reminding me of the fragility of life and the importance of coming to terms with the past. I started spending more time at the gym not only to exercise, but also to help other souls who may be confused and lost. I researched the history of the gym and discovered that it was built on the site of an old cemetery. This may have been the reason for the soul's attachment to the place. I decided to research rituals and ceremonies that could help them finally free themselves. Over time, I found a way to make contact with the souls and help them transition to the next world. I performed rituals and meditations to help them accept their past and let go of their suffering. Each soul was unique and each one required an individualized approach. My actions did not go unnoticed. Locals began to recognize my actions and began coming to the gym to get help with their problems and traumas. The gym became a place of healing and reconciliation where people could find inner peace. Over time, fame and notoriety came to the gym. People traveled from far and wide to get help and advice from me. The gym became a symbol of hope and healing, where people's souls could find rest and peace. Thus ended the scary story of the haunted gym. This story reminds us of the power of reconciliation and the ability to overcome our fears and traumas. Sometimes, even in the most unusual places, we can find true healing and inner peace. On a cold autumn evening, I decided to go to an old, abandoned gym that had been rumored to be gloomy. The gym was dark, and the air smelled of decay and ruin. I cautiously entered the gym, feeling my nerves tense. At first glance, everything looked normal, but a sense of unease lingered. It felt like someone was watching me from the shadows. I decided to start exercising to distract myself from the intrusive thoughts. But with each step I heard rustling and muffled sounds, as if someone was slowly and silently approaching. Suddenly, the lights in the hall began to flicker, and a quiet knocking sound was heard. I turned around and saw that a shadow had appeared on the wall. It was long and distorted, as if it was a creature from another world. My heart ached with fear the shadow began to move slowly along the wall, coming closer to me. I tried to back away, but my legs wouldn't obey me. Fear engulfed me completely. The shadow turned into the ghostly figure of a man. He was dressed in an old-fashioned sports uniform, and his eyes glowed with anger. He began to whisper his story to me. Years ago, this man was a trainer at a gym. One night, after a workout, he died of unknown cause. His soul remained in the gym, bound to the place where he had spent many hours of his life. 
The ghost of the coach said that out of anger and rage, he became vengeful. He began to haunt everyone who appeared in that gym, trying to convey his pain and suffering. I realized that my only hope was to help the ghost free himself from his anger. I began researching the history of the gym and discovered that there was a cemetery next to it that had long since been closed. I decided to go to the cemetery and perform a ritual so that the deceased coach would find peace. I gathered items related to his life and performed the ritual, hoping it would help him to be set free. Gradually, the ghost of the coach became less angry and aggressive. He began to show signs of peace and calmness. The ghost begged me for help. He said that his soul could not find peace until the truth about his death was revealed. He begged me to get to the bottom of who was behind his tragic end. I felt fear and anxiety, but I felt compassion for this ghost. I decided to help him and make sense of what had happened. A dark and thorough investigation began. I studied the gym's archives, talked to staff members and former coaches. Gradually, I began to uncover the dark secrets associated with the place. It turned out that the gym sought success and fame at any cost. The owner of the gym was ready to do anything to attract clients and achieve high results. He used prohibited drugs and even conducted secret experiments on athletes. One of these experiments led to the tragic death of a ghost who turned to me. He was a victim of ruthless methods and was betrayed by his coaches. I decided to get to the bottom of it and give the ghost a chance to find peace. I gathered all the evidence and presented it to the public. The gym was shut down and the owner and coaches were brought to justice. The ghost, feeling justice, disappeared, leaving behind gratitude and peace. The gym became empty and abandoned, filled with echoes of the past. This spooky ghost story about the gym reminds us that dark secrets and evil do not go unpunished. Justice will always find a way to enter our world and restore peace to those who deserve it. In a quiet town where time seemed to stand still, there was an old, abandoned gymnasium. People avoided the place, saying it was terrifying to anyone who dared to go inside. But I was curious and decided to find out what was behind its locked doors. One dark night, I made my way inside the gym. Poltergeist. For the first time, I felt an icy chill envelope the air and the walls began to shake. The gym came to life before my eyes barbells and dumbbells flying into the air, machines moving for no apparent reason. I clenched my fists and tried to stay calm. I was scared, but curiosity overpowered fear. I wanted to know what was going on in this damn gym. Suddenly, a figure appeared in front of me a poltergeist. It was a vaguely peering silhouette, emitting an ominous light. He began to slowly approach me, and I felt his presence fill the entire hall. The poltergeist informed me that he was a gym coach who had died under mysterious circumstances. He mentioned an ancient curse that had been placed on the place many years ago. This curse gave rise to poltergeists, spirits that are connected to the material world and can affect objects. The poltergeist explained that his soul would find no rest until the curse was lifted. He mentioned ancient artifacts stored in the gym that are the source of the curse's power. To free his soul and stop the poltergeist, it was necessary to find and destroy these artifacts. The journey to the gym became more and more dangerous and scary. I was encountering invisible forces that were trying to stop me. But I kept moving forward, opening doors to forgotten rooms and exploring cellars where ancient secrets slumbered. Gradually I found all the artifacts and pieced them together. During this time, the poltergeists became more and more aggressive and dangerous. They threw objects, annoyed me with their presence and tried to stop me at any cost. But I was determined and I wasn't going to stop. I realized that time was running out and I had to hurry to free the poltergeist's soul and lift the curse. After collecting all the artifacts, I returned to the main gymnasium. As soon as I started destroying the artifacts, a powerful wave of energy swept through the gym. The poltergeists exploded with bright flashes of light, their screams filling the air. I could feel the forces of evil leaving the place. Finally, the last artifact was destroyed, and silence enveloped the hall. The poltergeists were gone, and the dark energy disappeared with them. I felt relieved and realized that I had done something important. The gym, which used to be a place of terror and fear, was now free of the curse. It became bright and peaceful, as if it had never known darkness. This story reminds us of the power of goodness and determination.
It reminds us that even the darkest and most cursed places can be freed from evil if we show courage and faith in ourselves. Since then, the gym became a place where people came to exercise and live a healthy lifestyle. It ceased to be a locked and frightening place, but became a symbol of overcoming fear and defeating evil. So ended the story of the scary gym with poltergeists.